One of the biggest draws since Stadia came out is the fact that you can play it on just about any screen from Chrome on a Mac or on Windows or on a Chromebook to your phone to tablets to all sorts of devices. It's been really cool to be able to bounce back and forth between all of them in order to play your favorite games. But there are a couple devices that have been left out of that fray since the beginning, and those include very popular devices like this, the Apple iPad, and iPhones. But Google has done what Google does best and looked to the web to find a workaround to get Stadia working on iPad and iPhone. And we want to show you how to get it set up for yourself. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of consumers because frankly, they're awesome at what they do. And that's keeping your browsing safe and secure, whether you're at home or out and about. If you'd like to learn more about them and their services, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN where you can learn more and get started today. Before we hop into all the bits and pieces about how to get this up and running, a quick note about Apple and their App Store and compliance issues. Honestly, I don't know enough about all of that to tell you detailed information about why it is the Stadia app just can't work from the App Store, but I know enough to tell you that xCloud, GeForce Now, Stadia, these game streaming services just aren't compliant with Apple's App Store policies. And so because of that, you can't just go and download them and play them. But again, Google has created this way around it. So let's jump in and start working on it. All right, so first step, I would tell you to go and install the actual Stadia app from the App Store. This isn't gonna help you play games necessarily, but it will help you get your controller paired up if you've never set up Stadia or played Stadia before. A lot of you trying this have probably played Stadia on a Chromecast or something like that, so your Stadia controller is already hooked up to your Wi-Fi, so you won't need to do this, but for those of you who have a new Stadia controller and have never set it up, you do need the Stadia app in order to go through that controller setup process. Now once your Stadia controller is set up and on your Wi-Fi, uh, the other step could be if you have something like an Xbox controller or something like that, you can actually get it paired up, go to your Bluetooth settings in your iPad and actually pair your controller up. Again, I'm kind of assuming that if you're playing games on your iPad, you've probably done a lot of these things, but I wanted to say that up front so that you know, you gotta get your controller set up before you can play Stadia. Now, on to the good parts. You're gonna need to open Safari and you're gonna need to be on at least iOS or iPad OS 14, and this is already on that. I'm actually one update behind, so there's a small update I haven't taken on here yet, but everything works just fine. Once you open up Safari, you're going to go to stadia.com and once you're there you're going to actually see the entire interface that you would see on a chromecast or on an android phone or on a desktop or whatever it's fully navigable with oops sorry fully navigable with you know your touch gestures and all that kind of stuff so there's nothing to be worried about there you don't need a controller to get around this kind of stuff but you're going to see all the stuff here that you would expect to see in a normal stadia setup and that's because this is all you really need to start playing stadia on your ipad or your iphone there is another step you can take from here if you like if you want to have a quick way to access this just hit that share button up top and you're going to hit add to home screen it's gonna ask you if you like the icon and the name. Say sure, we hit add, and now we have a new Stadia icon that you can click and it'll launch this whole interface in full screen mode. From this point, obviously, you're gonna to need to log into your Stadia account. I'm gonna do that real quick. Oh, wait, there we go. And once you've done that, you're in and you'll get this nice little welcome screen here that says, you know, hey, we're still in development, but let me tell you, we've already tested this and it works absolutely perfectly. We've not run into any issues whatsoever uh, with this setup. And from here, uh, everything is pretty straightforward, even down to controller pairing for your gaming session. So if I go up here to my controller settings up here, you're gonna get the same thing that you would get on a Chromecast. And if I were to take my Stadia controller and hit the command code, oh, sorry, I gotta turn it on. And hit the command code that's there. And give it just a second. You'll get that nice little rumble, and then boom, your Stadia controller is linked, and you're ready to go. And you can now actually control this, the interface right here. So we'll launch into, uh, let's go into super hot, why don't we? All right, once the game loads up, you can see pretty quickly, as soon as I touch anything, it's very, very responsive. Let me jump into this guy's body here. There we go. That way I don't die immediately here. And I mean, you can hopefully tell the second I touch this controller, things move. Now I'm 
probably going to die here in just a second because I'm trying to talk and play uh, a late level in super hot and this game gets pretty complex at this point. But hopefully you can tell everything's working exactly like you would expect at this point. Additionally, things like in-game menus, chat, all that kind of stuff, it's all here. And so if you need to you know, jump in and add another controller, go to your Stadia options, for instance. Um, all of those things are here. It's all working. And again, super impressive considering this is all technically happening inside of a Safari tab. One other thing I do want to show you real quickly is the fact that you don't have to have a Stadia controller. So say you have an Xbox controller laying around. Let me turn this thing on. And I've already connected it to Bluetooth. Again, you click the button on the top and go to your Bluetooth settings and pair it up. But the minute Stadia recognized that this controller is now turned on, it noticed that there's a controller, I can actually start my game right here. And I'm, honestly, I can't tell any lag. The Stadia controller is hooked up to the same server that your Stadia instance is hooked to. So you would think it would have a little bit less lag. I can't really tell the difference. They both seem just about perfect, honestly. Uh, and so again, you, you can tell here, I can hit certain buttons. Let's see. Oh, that was my, oh, I died. Um, I don't know what the, yeah. So the Xbox button acts as your Stadia button basically. So we can long press that guy and we can go and exit the game. It was excellent. Thank you. Um, and again, you can just see the entire Stadia experience is here. Literally the only thing that you can't do uh, with a controller and an iPad and the open web at this point with this whole experience is, is set up a Stadia controller to be on your local Wi-Fi. That can be handled with the Stadia app on iOS. I did it with this controller. So honestly, the entire thing is here. If you want to play Stadia, if you want to leverage these games, if you want to take advantage of game streaming, at least from Stadia, from Google's solution to this, it's all here for you. It's right there on the web, nothing to install, stadia.google.com, and you're up and going. It's super impressive. And as we noted over on the website, it's just a really, really awesome example of what is possible with the open web uh, when you don't have to worry about app stores and all that kind of stuff. And developers can just write code that works across all sorts of platforms. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Go down there and hit that subscribe button as well. And make sure and hit the notification icon if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.